James chapter 2 verse 26 says, For as the body apart from the spirit is dead, so also faith apart from works is dead. But is this a contradiction? Because Paul says in his letter to the Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 10, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. So are we saved by grace or by works? The answer is we are saved by faith and faith alone. But I think we need to let the Bible identify what faith is and not assume we already know what the Bible implies. So what better person to look at than the man of faith himself, Abraham? When looking at Abraham in Genesis chapter 15 verses 5 and 6, we see Abraham is told by God that his offspring will outnumber the stars. And then something interesting happens. The Bible says that Abraham believed and he was called righteous from there. But what did he actually do? It says he believed. Did he do anything else? The answer is no. So that's it, right? Argument over? No works? Well, not quite. Because when we go to Genesis chapter 22, verses 11 and 12, we see Abraham about to sacrifice his son Isaac, and then we see God stop him. God speaks to Abraham and says, Do not lay your hand on that boy, for now I know you fear the Lord. Wait, did God not know that he feared the Lord already? Of course he did. But what does it mean for him to know he fears the Lord? Oftentimes in the Bible, the word know is not just a possession of knowledge, but can also be applied as a revelation. So what is actually being said is, Abraham's faith was revealed and displayed by his actions and obedience. We also see in Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 that Jesus was led to the wilderness to be tempted by Satan. This word tempted in the Greek can also mean tested. But what is the test in the wilderness? The test is to reveal or make known that Jesus is the Son of God, which is why Satan kept asking, if you are the Son of God, then proceeded with his testing. So in order to reveal your faith, you need to be tested? Yes, it seems to be the pattern, because everyone who had faith in the Bible had to face a test. Adam and Eve, Cain, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, David, Israel as a nation, the list goes on and on, they all got tested. Some of them failed, some passed. Nonetheless, they were tests to show their faith. But why is this necessary? James chapter 1 verses 2 through 4 says, Count it all joy, my brothers, that when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So according to James, being tested of your faith produces steadfastness, which makes you perfect and complete. So think about it. Is your faith complete without the expression of it? Can you tell someone you love them, but not express it? Will they believe you? Can you be seen as a credible person if you teach the Bible, but do not try to apply the same principles in your life? Usually people will look at you as a hypocrite. Can you blame them? I think you see where I'm going with this. In order to have faith, works are required. Why? Because how can your faith be truly revealed if it is not expressed? The works is what completes your faith by making it known or revealed. And remember, you are saved by grace through faith. Let's see what Jesus has to say about this in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So does God need to see your works to know your heart? Of course not. But the purpose of faith is to be the light for all of the world to bring glory to God. And having faith in Jesus Christ, this is something you should want. How can you reveal your belief in Jesus and do nothing? You can't. But the works is what reveals it. The works is not for you to save yourself. It's to bring glory to God by your behavior and lifestyle so that you can be a light and help bring salvation to all of God's creation. So I guess James is right. Faith without works is dead.